something to tell you, Smith. Something I never thought I'd hear myself say to you. Just spill it. Save these two privates the headache. <laughs> I want you to be her godfather. Uh -huh. yeah. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Uh, some news. Congrats to you too, sir. Hey, Uncle Smith. Uncle <laughs> Smitty. <laughs> Bit you, man. I didn't see this coming. No, I got you. <laughs> Congratulations, my brother. Mwah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> She's beautiful. Looks just like her mother. Going viral on the web with this one. Yeah, bullshit. Don't underestimate Uncle Smith. Yeah! Mwah. Ready? Here we go. All right. One, two. Go, Seven years old now. We're in the garden today, Dad. So sure feels weird without Mom here. Yeah, I know, baby. But she's looking over us every day, okay? Remember what I told you, right? You can call me here any time. It doesn't matter what time it is. When are you coming back? Soon. Yeah. Really soon. Just gotta finish some work here, and I'll be back before you know it. And when I get back, we'll be getting a bigger place. Can we get a dog? <laughs> sure, why not? Promise? I promise. Uncle Ross is here going to go say hi. Let me talk to your dad. Love you. Love you too, Dad. Go. Cool. She's cute. I'm growing up way too fast. Just wish Zoe was here to see it all. I 
appreciate you, Todd. After this contract gig, I'll be in a much better place. There's really no reason for you to do this trucking. But I really think this is a good thing for me. I'll soon be in a place where I can support her, pay you and Ross back for everything you guys have done. Catching up. We're just helping our family. Well, looks like I gotta go hit the road, so... Um... Tell Ross I said hi. Have fun at the party tonight. Thank you. Be careful out there. This late. I huh? know, we're the coolest uncles ever. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy Aren't New you guys supposed to be kissing? Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, Smart kid that way. Yes, she is. Ah, there you go. Go play with real people. I'm going to hold on to this, okay? <laughs> And Steve, we got the matching ones. Shh, let's keep this between you and I. Shh. Hey, 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 Eden. Would you do me a huge favor here? Hey, wait, hold on. Will you do me a favor and go into the kitchen there and play with those kids? I need to talk to Smith for a second. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. You don't have to get gifts like that for her every time you see her. I mean, have you looked at yourself lately, Smith? What that to You're not to leaving anytime soon, right? I was just talking to my goddaughter. Tell me you come yeah, up but she's like my that. niece, and this is my house, so I suggest you leave. Hey, hey, hey. What the heck is going on here, guys? Nothing, nothing. Smith was just, just leaving. Isn't that right? Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 don't stop him. I mean, have you smelled the alcohol in him? Wait, wait. What happened in there? Nothing. Don't go. Your husband doesn't want this guy in this house. So I'm out. Wait, please. Thanks for hospitality. Happy fucking New Year. Come in. Yes. What are you doing? 
streets in a one mile radius, no cars in or out, I'm in route. Did you speak to the captain? Yeah. Mask man's beatings, blood, it's a fucking mess. This is Detective Finney. Tank. Okay, follow me up the stairs here, guys. Watch your step. Owners' names are Todd and Ross Meisner. Okay, couple. Both were here during the invasion, including their niece, Eden. She's missing. It's looking like the invader came in through a bedroom downstairs. Then they came in here. they have taken a couple over to St. Joseph's around 15 minutes ago. One of them's in critical condition. That's all we know for now. Do we have any units over there? Uh, two. We should get their statements ASAP. I think Officer Manriquez is getting the statements from the neighbors. I'll have them go over right after. Detective, you should come see this. Started. We traced the blood from the house out here. It goes all the way down there. Three hammering 44, but two is just number. We have a possible suspect fleeing on foot. He's been on the run for about 30 minutes. I need a hard target search started immediately. That means all residents, rest stops, gas stations, don't leave anything out. Suspects might have also abducted a seven-year-old girl brunette. Approach the caution. What did you find out? We need to get that girl's photo out there. Checkpoints up to 20 miles. You need to contact your parents. Hey, you done in here? Yeah, just uh, a few more things and we'll be good for the night. How okay. you doing? Oh, truck's empty. I'm ready to go, man. Dane, your boss man's been trying to get a hold of you, man. Some kind of emergency with your brother-in-law. Says you need to head home right now. Call him on the way. What's up, Scott? I can take you to the airport right now if you want. I got this. Go. Okay. Go. in or out of this room except for staff and keep that 24-hour watch on him. If he's conscious, I need to be the first to know. Stay put. Feeling better, Mr. Meister? Todd, please. Uh, can you tell the nurse to come unplug me from this? I need to see Ross. I don't think that's a good idea. He's safe in the other room. 
You should rest right now. I also have a few questions for you while all this is still fresh to you. Uh, I gave my statement to the other officer. Um, <clears throat> so, is someone looking for my niece? We are. Did the invader make any sort of demands? Uh, we didn't exactly have a conversation. It was very quick. He uh, held us at gunpoint. He grabbed her. Mr. Miser, is there anyone that you could think of that would want to do harm to your family? No. No. I mean, no one that I know of. Any enemies? Recent confrontations with anyone? Most of the people we know are family or friends from Ross's work. I, I, we don't know the kind of monster sir, sir, that- Sir, you can go in there, sir. It's fine. What happened? Where's Eden? Detective Finney. I'm leading the investigation. Investigation? Ross is in a coma down the hall. What the hell happened? It's someone, someone came in the house. Mr. Hunt, there was a home invasion. Your brother-in-law was attacked and your daughter She's currently missing. Who, do you know? No, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Did you check the house? She's a smart girl. She's probably hiding somewhere. Maybe at the neighbor's. She's not in the house or at the neighbor's. You sure? You're telling me no one saw her? I'll go check the house myself. We think the perpetrator might have taken her. This happened last night. And you believe she was kidnapped? My daughter is missing, detective. What is it you're doing exactly to bring her back home? We have a few leads. And we have a search party out there looking for your daughter, sir. We released an Amber Alert and we have plenty of checkpoints out in that area. We're doing everything that we can. Please let me do my job. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Meisner. I'll be in touch. I said I could get back in later tonight, but I don't see how I can ever stay there again. Hey, brother. I'm so sorry about what happened. You too, Todd. Thanks. You guys remember Harry? Hey, yeah, sorry to hear about everything. We got about 19 guys. Some of them even saw your post on social media this morning. They wanted to help. You heard from Smith yet? No. Oh. This is the latest photograph of her. Give these out, make sure everyone gets one. Got it. All right, we have the east and west sides covered. If you guys want to join us and do the north and south sides, that would be best. And let me know if you need any help getting word out of the press. Yeah, I've already contacted a few outlets. Good. Thanks for making this happen. Oh, don't mention it. It's no different than if it was my own daughter. It's gonna be a long night, bro. But if she's out here, we'll find her. You just gotta have some hope and take it one step at a time. I'll take this out. So you were home last night. Take any medication? I've done some pretty fucked up things before. 
there, but, but, I'm messing with kids. No, I mean, that's, that's something that I, I, would, I would never do. Who said anything about kids? I, uh, <clears throat> Watch the news, and your mug is all over it. All right, now, now, if you excuse me, I really need to finish. Pretty sure you need a warrant for that. Two years as a narc, and already a detective. The department must have ran out of pussy. What is this, Casper? My new hobby. So what do you know about the home invasion last night? Didn't hear anything from your road dogs? I'm clean. I don't fuck around no more. But if I knew anything, I'd tell you. So you don't come to my job, okay? That's it. about an associate that works here. Perhaps I can speak to Mr. Lewis, Mr. Ives. Mr. Lewis doesn't operate out of this office. Where does he operate out of then? I'm afraid I don't know. They don't tell me that kind of information. What about Mr. Ives? Is he available? No. He passed away years ago. Well, who do you suggest helps me then? One moment, please. Understood. Thank you. I'm sorry, there's no one that can help you right now. Maybe you can help me. Ross Meiser, an associate that works here. Have you heard or seen anything out of the ordinary lately with him? Any strange visitors or anything? Other than you? No. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that'll be it. Have a good day. Be at the hospital if you need anything. Try and get some rest.
Yeah. Came across them about 20 minutes ago. One of them had a confrontation with one of the customers at the bar last night. Welcome back, handsome. I need you to tell her what you told me. There ain't much to tell, baby. That little girl that we're missing, we know who did it. Mm -hmm. Who would that be? Herbert that was sitting at the bar, try to rub up on me in the alley, and then ask me if I knew any youngings that he could fuck with. I saw that sick fuck going down the street up to those rich folks' houses. I mean, we ain't no detectives, what to your but hand? that's. Listen, he's a cradle robbing pervert, okay? Y'all need to find him and lock his ass in the cooler. Do you have a description? Yeah, African American male, possibly 30s, black jacket. See if anyone else around here can verify their story. You the owner? Yeah, 22 years. You gonna get those bimbos out of here? All that bustle is hurting my business. Apparently, they got into a confrontation last night with one of your customers. Young black male? See what happened? I would hardly call that a confrontation. All the guy did was give them his drinks. Drinks which, by the way, he didn't even pay for. So you know him? Yeah, I know him. But I ain't no snitch. Look, I don't want to get the guy jammed up with the law, huh? Withholding information Take from me? Take it easy. The guy's name is Smith. The poor bastard's deaf. Okay, he's been in here every night drinking himself to death and running up quite a tab. That's why he's banned from here forever. So you didn't see anything that happened in the alleyway? No, that I did not. Thank you. He owes me six months' rent. I had to give him an eviction notice, even though I hated to do that to someone who served this country. We got three more open units out back. I would hate to throw all of your stuff out, but uh, we did start cleaning up a bit. He's gonna be shocked when he gets back. If he gets back. Have you seen anyone come around? relatives, any friends? You know, I never really thought that he had any family or friends. He's a real loner.
How's your arm? My arm is better than my legs. How's your face? Don't let me interrupt. Go on. Stole. I left the bar. Hey, get off me! Cradle robbing perverts? Shit! But these bitches follow me outside. <laughs> Hey, retard. Where are you going? Huh? You want to explain what the hell you were doing with my girl, huh? Oh. Just defending myself. Is that when you went to the miser's residence? I didn't know where else to go for help. Other than Dan, Tom has always been the one I could trust. Here? He is. Oh. Can I speak to him, please? I could use his help. Are you joking? No. <clears throat> I don't want any trouble. I'll go get him. I'm not buying it. Fair share of trouble with the law, but didn't need you to stick around and get that third strike. Now, if that motherfucker did a call a cop, I would. Well, he didn't. He's in a coma right now. What do you know about the home invasion? Did you take the girl? So what you're telling us is that you weren't aware of the home invasion and kidnapping when it was in progress in the Meisners? We matched your blood to the blood of the house. We have a search party at your apartment. You might as well start coming clean. What, what, what you say? Your friend's daughter. She's missing. You wouldn't happen to know where she is, would you? Oh, I get it. I see what's happening here. The good cop, a bad cop, bullshit. How dare you? How fucking dare you ask me that? Get a lawyer in here! On the night of the crime, did you happen to see or speak to Mr. Whitaker? Why would that matter? Because the blood we found at your place it's the same type as Mr. Whitaker's. We're still testing to see if it's uh, an exact match, but I, I think it will be. Mr. Hunt, uh, please have a seat. I'm good. You got someone? Mr. Smith Whitaker was brought in for questioning. I understand he's a friend of yours? Yeah, he's my daughter's godfather. I'm aware of that. That's why I wanted to tell you personally before the news breaks out. Did you talk to Smith? Does he know anything about Eden's whereabouts? We're still trying to figure that out. Unfortunately, at this moment, uh, I cannot give you any more information. Mr. Meisner, are there any recent events that you can think of that would cause Smith to harm you or your family? 
Smith and Ross had a minor argument on New Year's Eve. He was drunk. It was nothing. Smith is family. I read somewhere that half the kids gone missing like this aren't found alive. Is that true? There's certainly lots of uh, statistics out there that would indicate so. But and if the kidnapper isn't found by day one, chances of solving it go down to about 10%. I assure you that Detective Finney here and our team is working around the clock to find your daughter. Doing what? Investigating my innocent best friend while my, while my daughter is still out there waiting for her father to bring her back home? We're gonna find Eden. 36 hours and counting. Everything you asked for right here. It's all clean too. What do you plan to do with all these? You can never be too careful. Hey, I have my guys put word on the street about your daughter. If I hear anything, I'll keep you posted, alright? Thanks for looking out, Jay.
stay back. Stay you everything you just she's in there are you sure yeah man please untie me please who else is in there i don't know man look i i only drop off some speed here right i got nothing to do with the girl man i swear i fucking i, I never touched her man i never touched her just let me go please what are you doing, man? Sit tight. What are you doing? They're not going anywhere. Oh, please, stop it. Come on, man. Come on, man. I told you everything I know, man. Come on. Let me go. Let me go. Thank <laughs> you. 
real hard. Oh, you're too late, Vic. She's fucking dead. You're too late, corpse! Are you alone? Don't be afraid. I'm gonna get you out of here. Take my hand. Take your hand. Oh shit, get down, get down! Stay here and stay down.
The mystery man survived a violent shootout with the kidnappers of Viola Anderson, an innocent 14-year-old who was kidnapped in her neighborhood of Mammoth Park last November while walking her dog. The confrontation ended a few miles away from this home down the street in a car wreck. Two suspects were killed in the crash. As Rose Bay investigators continue their search for this mystery man, the locals and the girl's family are now starting to call him a true hero. One of the suspects in this case was Jim Tominak. I just wanted you to know. At least that girl's home tonight. Can I please go home? Finny, Finny. She changed her tune, her friend. Admitted stabbing Smith. So you want to know? Get some rest. Sunshine. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's good to see those eyes. Hi. Hello, nurse. Hello. Oh.
inside. It's okay, Mr. Meisner. It's okay. Just try to relax. You can squeeze my fingers, okay? Just keep squeezing. Good. You're doing good. Good job. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for calling me. I need to ask him some questions right away. How long until I'm able to? It'll take him some time to recover. From what we're seeing so far this morning, he's been showing signs of rapid progress. Hey, I'm right here. Where are they? Where are they? You? You? They came in, they went inside. They went inside. They're trying to show parents them shit on me, bro. Not a big deal. I haven't dealt something worse. Hey, that's not gonna happen. Ross is out of a coma, he's recovering, he'll vouch for you. I was never supposed to be like this, bro. Ever since we got back, things haven't been the same. I know I have gone overboard with the drinking and haven't been myself. But people around here shooting me like I'm a fucking retarded. I'm sorry. I know I haven't been around for you as much as I wanted to be. Nah, bro. You've been deporting your family. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there to protect you when you couldn't. I failed you. I failed Ethan. I've been trying though. I really have. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Civilian life has no meaning to me anymore. I'm better off in here. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to find Eden. And then we're going to get you out of here. You have my word. It's all good, bro. You okay, Detective? Careful, it's hot. Oh, I only ordered one. It's my lunchtime, too. Oh. <laughs> and you look like you could use some company. Thank you. Plus, I'd also like to get to know my best tipper. Do you have any kids, Detective? Um, Finny, please. No, I do not. <laughs> Neither do I. But if I did, I sure as hell wouldn't let them be glued to crap like that. I mean, when I was a kid, we used to go play outside with friends. No such electronics to get glued to. Didn't you? It's crazy. Oh, shit. What? Thank you so much for the soup. This? Your daughter had a tablet she used. Do you have access to that? Yeah, we watched cartoons on it together. I gave it to her for her birthday. Do you happen to know the login information? Yeah, I think so.
got something? Yeah, email and password to the cloud connected to Ethan's tablet. What tablet? We never got a tablet from the house. Exactly. What does that mean? It was connected to a Wi-Fi internet signal there. Gray dot means the device went offline at that location. Looks like that's right at Meisner's. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure while it's in lock mode, the device can still keep track of itself for at least 24 hours or so. But in order for us to locate it, it needs to be on and connected to a Wi-Fi signal again. Oh, shit. Green dot. It's on and connected. How could that be, though? 1805 Coldwater Canyon Road. Relax, kid. Put your hands down. Have you seen a tablet around here? Bottom drawer. This is my dad's place. I'm just kind of hanging out right now. Where did you get that? I found it. I, I, I didn't steal it, I swear. It just came off of our B84 truck a few days ago. My buddy's going to fix the screen for me. B84 truck? Yeah, the trash truck. It's very important you tell us where you got that. Can you give us the exact route of the B-84? Sure, yeah. on the way.
babe. Well, I'm a nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah, you are. Plus, if I didn't do anything, you'd give me shit, so. That's very true. <laughs> wow. Hey. Welcome home, buddy. Thanks. Okay, that's a long enough hug. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. So is, uh, <clears throat> is Eden here? Yeah, upstairs napping. Food's ready, though. Okay. Can I, can I wake her? Go for it. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. Whose phone is that? Guys, food's about to get soggy. Hey, whose phone is this? What, what are these threats? What the hell am I reading? The firm. They gave me anything that I wanted. The house, the cars, for free. Yeah, bonuses. No, they weren't bonuses. I thought that that's what they were, but that's not what they were. They had me bill clients outrageous fees until I paid them back. But it wasn't enough. I uncovered dirt about the firm money laundering and fraud. I threatened to talk, and that's when the harassment began. I'll go get him. supposed to only shake him down. You know he's in a fucking coma right now. Well, he shot at us. 
Look, things got wild. I had to do what I had to do. Plus, I'm sorry, boss, but we had a witness. What witness? Their little girl. <laughs> what are you saying, you fucking idiot? They don't have a little girl. Fuck. Where's she now? Uh, we have her here. Well, what do you want me to do with her, sir? I don't know. That wasn't part of the plan. Well, we could just seal her off in here. Yeah. Yeah, do that for now. Let me figure out a way to get rid of her. And don't call me anymore. I'm sorry. I had no idea that they were going to take it this far. Eden, she's my... What were you thinking? I promise that I will do whatever it takes to fix this. My daughter was kidnapped and held in a fucking warehouse for days. My innocent seven-year-old daughter from your house. You've done enough. I'll take it from here.
this. All of this. Go ahead. Kill me. And then what? Part of me takes for vengeance for what you've done, but this isn't that. This is a warning. If you ever come near my family again, I will finish what I started tonight. We're good? I'm good, Harry. Sure. Ready? Ready. Set. Set. Go. Go. Miss you always, babe. <laughs> 